Great. Well, my name is Christy and I'm a full-time student at the moment. And the reason I decided to come on this retreat is a year earlier, I had done another retreat uh, with Peter and it was fantastic. I had several breakthroughs and it was only three days and it was I had epiphany after epiphany and it was fantastic. It was really spoke to me and when I heard about the opportunity to have a retreat in Bali and I thought it could only get better and I could only see more deeply into myself and into my mind and have more breakthroughs and uh, really commit to bettering myself and my the way that I work as I do have difficulties in my life as we all do. So yes. Well, I was very excited. Uh, I had heard many things about Bali before. I was very excited and also intimidated because I had never been here before, so I didn't know what it would all be like, the hustle and bustle. But it's very clear as soon as you get here that the community is a huge factor here and the people are just so nice. They treat you like family. I just I, I can't get over how friendly everyone is. It's amazing. But seeing on the bus ride here, just the people and working in the communities and harvesting and fruit picking and all that, it was, it's incredible, it really is a different culture and it's amazing to see that, I think it really takes you out of your bubble and out of the world that you live in and it's good to see that, I think it definitely, you know, opens your mind already just to see people in a different environment and doing different things, it was really, it was really good to see, I liked it. it the resort it was amazing. I actually didn't know what to expect. I obviously Googled it before I came here, but um, you know, pictures don't really say a lot. So I was still a little bit wondering what it was, but I was, it was a thousand times better than what I expected. Like the, um, obviously the pool, it is a little bit warm. So I love the pool, but also the wildlife, but you're surrounded by just wildlife everywhere. And I really appreciate the culture here and the, um, they have temples inside the village and it's really interesting to see you know, the morning prayers and the way that they um, interact on a day to day basis and you just, um, the village, the resort, it's, you know, you say resort but it probably is more feeling like a village, it feels like it's a little community and you're all together and everyone's just friendly and you're it's, yeah, it's really good. It's definitely not on the same length as a hotel. Like it's, it feels like a community stay. Like you're very welcome. And it's lovely. Never experienced anything like it. Yeah, how was that? <laughs> well, I think I've never eaten so much in my life, but ironically, I've lost weight. The food is good quality food, and I have never tasted tastes like I have here. There's the combination, and it makes you really realise that, you know. Where I'm, you know, I obviously were relying where I was from on oils and butters and that kind of taste, the fat taste. But here it's all, you know, spices and herbs and the, what the things I do with the food. It's absolutely amazing. And I'm never hungry after I eat. Once you eat, you just you feel content. And the food is absolutely amazing. And they're very proud of their food. And it's just, it's absolutely amazing to die for. <laughs> um, for me, the meditations, you know, to begin with, you know, you kind of you'll work into it a bit but once you get into that groove it only took me a few meditations and once you get into that groove and you really zone in and you can listen and you're in the atmosphere and the environment and you, you follow the process that you, you're taught you really do connect with yourself and you do find a place well within that I haven't found before like it's like a you know a ball of wool unwinding you seems you think you've stopped but then you keep going and you find more and it's just, it's really good. Like, I'm very excited to do another one and see what else I can reveal about myself because they're, it's really good to see within yourself and the things you don't know. It's kind of interesting, sometimes scary, but a good scary. <laughs> for me personally, it, for me personally, it was good. I, I liked it very much. I found that the meditations were long enough for me to get enough out of them, but not too long that I became distracted or. Um, or in pain because obviously I have meditated before but I'm not a professional mm. so for me that they, they were very good you get enough that you can really get what you need out of them it's like quality it really is quality and I found them very good very helpful and I think they were very close to the perfect times that you needed to get what you need out of them and yeah I I definitely agree it was very good yes. well for me the biggest one would have been um, my fear because I I am very I have a lot of fear to doing things I hold myself back I don't have any confidence and 
I, I used to admit that, but not completely admit it. I'd kind of say it in a laughing way, like, oh, I'm always too scared to do anything. But this time, during one of the meditations, I finally saw how held back I truly am and how it is all me doing it and the possibilities that are there for me. And that was a really breakthrough moment for me because I found that once I broke through and discovered that, that the next meditation, I was able to start planning my goals and my future and for the first time I was very excited and thought this is now an option for me I can actually do things I want to do and might be happy like I could actually do what I want and get what I want to be happy so that was very big for me and I think it was very important as well because that has been holding me back a lot so, well I'm going to move <laughs> and go to um, I'm going to start doing courses and learn about also teaching and guidance and um, I also have very financial difficulties, but I found that that's a mental thing as well. I'm spending because I think if I buy something, I'll feel better, so it's a band-aid. So I believe that with the discoveries I felt this trip, I'll be able to have better control of my money, better control of my decisions, with my health, and you know, be able to truly step forward and go out into the life and start living. You know, I'm 25 now, I should be living as an adult, but yet I still feel like I'm living in a child and I believe when I get back, I can start making them real big step forward to start living in the world as I should be. So, and there's some things I've definitely planned, but the exciting things for me is I'm only, can only guess what now my mind's twigged, what I can really do when I get back. I think I'll be able to do more than what I thought. <laughs> I find that the highlight in itself is just everything comes together. It's like a jigsaw fitting, like um, the environment, even during meditation, you know, I'm someone that gets distracted very easily. But when you're meditating in this environment, you've got frogs and birds and bugs and the noises are actually quite soothing. It's not really a distraction. If anything, it gets me in the zone even better and the sound of the trickling water and the pool nearby and, you know, and then the people and the food and the atmosphere. And another thing I realised for me is that, you know, when I first got here, I was thinking, oh, no, like all these people, this group, they're all professional meditators and I'm going to be left behind. But it's really not that once you start to meet the group and you get intimate with each other and personal, you start realising that, you know, everyone has a story and each person is a little bit lost and each person's a little bit broken and they've all got fears and they are also here not just for a holiday because they want to discover something about themselves and it's a real bond and you kind of develop a trust with each other and you start realizing yourself that you know it's not I'm not here and I'm not a broken soul that's desperate it's you're here to help yourself and you're on this you know journey together and it gives you a strength that I didn't even realize it would give me being in this environment and it was it was amazing definitely well you know I believe that this retreat you know, you can get as much out of it as you want to. If you want to do two or three and then sit in your room, you can do that. But if you want to put 110% into it, you will get 110% out. I believe this retreat, really this retreat is actually very good for a wide range of people because even if you think you're a professional meditator and you've been doing it for years, it's not just meditation, it's, it's you know, NLP, it's looking into yourself as well. And I think this retreat would be good for many people if you feel lost or if you're broken or you want to tune up or you just want to, you know, look into your mind yourself and see something you haven't seen before or, you know, it's really, it's very a broad range. It could be many people because, you know, even the people you think are perfect and have the great life, you know, how tr truly well do you know, you know, your brain and why you do the things you do and how you could do things better or make yourself happier. So, you know, I really think that this retreat would speak to many people. I reckon you definitely need to give it a go. That's the first thing. Give it a go. Like I'm not saying it, it might not work for you, but I think it would if you give it a go. And you know, it's just I found it works for me. And I came with my mother as well, and she's had an absolute blast. She said it's it's amazing. This is the first time she's done anything like this, and you know, she's had many breakthroughs. It's real sad to go home because <laughs> we could just do it for another six years. But no, I definitely think this would work for many people. I. I'd find it very hard to find a person who wouldn't get anything out of it.